you are talking are there any scholarships or any programs you are providing right now for budding entrepreneurs or anyone who's interested in drone technology or any kind of science innovation is there any help that is coming from your company as such right so this year we started a workshop series we already connected connected, connected the few people who follow me regularly there also so we are connecting much more workshops in future and also we are providing some internships along with that so people who are really talented uh, so they can also work with us not everyone you can say uh, but they can work with us uh, as you said as i said and also like uh, when it comes to this thing mark uh, cgp i don't care about those things for me it's all about nights and experience uh, the mark cgp even is a 10th fail or a 12th fail also is okay for me if he is really knowledge so that he can pull out the things uh, I can. Then, you know, you, you should choose that. You know, a normal a TV repair guy, TV repair guy can can do wonders. I have seen that. He repairs the TV within a few minutes or other thing. So it's all about more than you know theoretical knowledge. Practical is always practical. Yeah. Um, we all see you having a growth in startup right from when you started to your shows and programs. They, we've seen a growth in your startups. How do you think startup has helped you getting investors or helping to build your company? Definitely. So whatever the shows I make, so I used to get a daily payment according to that and remuneration, and also from some Instagram collaborations or other things, uh, advertisements that I do. So those things helped me build my startup. I invested those money as literally invested money, those money into my startup. uh but that's not enough i think if you have a bigger dream now it much more than that you know but still it helped me i'm very grateful for the those things for those uh, television channels who gave me opportunity and the people who supported me yeah um speaking about your day to day life what is uh, doing with our day to day life like it's depends i'm a very different guy uh um you can say i'm like a flexible very flexible i don't have a daily routine if i need to wake up on 3 am or call me on 3 am or uh, some work is there uh, i you if you want to discuss some you know interesting facts or anything if you want me to in a google meet i will be there right at the 2 2 2:30 am or something so it's like you know for me you know when you're working when you're doing things uh you should always ready you know i said the things when you get an opportunity you should, you should always be there on the right place on the right time so uh sometimes i put up my three or a clock or two a and my sleep if i for example after this event or whatever happening right now if i sleep on 6 o'clock or 7 or 8 again i will open for that again i started doing something so again i just sleep for me you know there is no particular time for sleep in work of course i need to it doesn't it affects my health and not which a bit uh, uh, for me you know if i achieve whatever i'm thinking in my mind within 40 years so for me uh, yeah i'm working for that i'm manifesting for that yeah um what would you say would be your alternate career if not on this or if not anything in space science anything related to science except uh, obviously teaching how uh some college professor or college uh, 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 you know lecture or something uh, apart from the people say the, the shows that i'm doing right as an artist so yeah what daily habits or what the daily routine things do you do to keep yourself uh, calm or to keep yourself grounded in life so i watch some you know, like inspiring things or the thing i you know make some stories or books or anything uh, or it's uh, I take a deep breath. I relax myself. Whenever I get there, I leave. I just sleep. That's it. I never show on anybody or anything. I have. I got trust me. I got lot of patience. Lot and lot of patience. I just. I'm just going to you know. I use my blanket and close it and just take a deep nap. I'm uh, coming back to work again. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of. Uh, if I have to talk about engineering sectors, now we have AI and then with us we have the. to believe with us ec computer science uh, isic a lot of departments coming inside your uh, drone technologists 
Now, as engineering students, what do you think should be their goal right now or their pathway to build a career in science or to build a career in drone things or anything science stuff? What do you think should be their main goal or their career path? It's not like if somebody is doing in some particular field, I should choose that in the, if it's making money or if it's getting fame or name or anything. It's all about, you know, if you're interested, just do. Even though, you know, so many people are working on that, you are interested, no? you are extraordinary. So you need to prove it, that's that. It's not about, you know, I need to choose a different path, like drones only, like AI only, like not like that. It's all about your interest. If you're good at dancing, do dancing. But you need to be extraordinary once you choose that. You're different. You should prove, you should prove that you're different from apart from the folks that you're seeing. 